kita ko agad to usually some talents overblown yung ego What's up? Leo here. In yung lingkod na MPL Shoutcaster. This is another video and we'll be talking about five things I look for in aspiring casters. This being the second video in our channel. Maraming maraming salamat po sa suporta. I saw a lot of you guys subscribed, left likes on the few videos na nandito. Kung nag enjoy kayo sa content na ginagawa ko, please click subscribe and check me out on social media. I'll be flashing those over here. Speaking of aspiring Casters, nakakuha na tayo ng top 32 sa ating MPL Philippines Caster Search 2021. Abangan na lang yung announcement na yon or check nyo sa social media kung sino na ang mga nag announce na mga kilala ninyong casters na nagsabing part nga sila ng top 32. Bago natin simulan ang listahang ito, risk check muna, you know what it is. This right here is the Seiko 5 Sea Urchin, also known as the SNZF-17. Sinuot ko to no MSC. This is an automatic. It's a dive style watch. It only has 100 meters uh, of pressure resistance. And it, it, it's a relatively bigger watch, but I, I like those anyway since I'm a big fan of G-Shocks. Bago natin simulan tong listahang ito, gusto ko lang introhan, no? For the past year, year and a half, uh, I've been closely working with new talents or mga caster na gustong makalayo sa esports industry. This experience of mine, the way I'm working with, with newer, younger talents, this goes way back to 2012-2013 nung parte pa ako ng Melo 94.7. We had a program called The School of Jocks. I became one of their professional radio DJs uh, through that student DJ program and mainly doon based ang The Madrigal Project. It, it, it was a free thing. All you had to do was come in, train with the DJs. Uh, I started training my own set of younger student DJs, those who went under my wing, and, and, and they all have their own careers now. And I hope to replicate that same experience here in esports. Simulan natin to. Number five, dapat teachable. This is something that comes out midway through our working or professional relationship. Pero kapag yung bagong talent, nakinita ko na kapag sinabihan, tas pinakitaan mo, and then they're like, ah, okay, sige, parang pwede yan. Or, patulong nga, how can I do better at this? What am I doing wrong? It shows that they understand that they are not a finished product. None of us are finished products. Like, I understand myself. Even those who have been here, what, a month, two months? I, I love listening to them because they might be able to teach me something as well. If you're teachable, you'll never grow old and you'll never be a complete amateur dahil parati ka natututo eh. You're always there to learn. Number four is curious. This goes hand in hand with being teachable and this is the next level. Yung parati ka nagtataka, parati mong iniisip, uy, paano niya nagawa yun? Or paano ko pwedeng gawin yun? It can be curiosity about yourself or curiosity about something that someone else did. Paano yun? Or ang galing nun na. Gusto kong gayain yun, gusto kong magawa rin yun. Paano kaya? Uh, I know several talents uh, who have either gone under my wing or I've grown with. Curious sila. More often than not. More often than not. Yung mga nagtatanong, sila rin yung nakakalamang. Kasi alam na nila eh. After not knowing, they asked a the question, they learned. Now they know. Number three, driven. Ito, kita ko agad to usually within the first two or three conversations. Or pag pinapanood ko magtrabaho, or nagpe-prepare. With, with, with this current generation, mahil kami mag-aral ng sabay, or mag-prepare ng sabay. And even some of the younger talents, I see them doing the same. And minsan nakikisabay ako, minsan nakikisit in ako. And there and then, I can tell if this person is driven. It's because they will go the extra mile. They will always say, ay sige, kaya ko yan. Or, ano kaya next na pwede kong gawin? Saan pa ako? pwedeng mag-shoutcast. You really have to be open. You have to be G to, to do anything, everything, for your own growth, to get experience, at para makilala ka, at para makilala mo rin yung sarili mo. Number two, self-aware. So, ito yung medyo tricky. It's because some talents, it could go either way. Sometimes they're too nervous, they're always nervous, they tend to choke themselves out. Dapat ready na sila sa isang malaking bagay, isang gig, na malupit na they prepared for, but they doubt themselves. They're not self-aware. Hindi nila naaalala na, ay, I prepared for this. If you overthink, and you don't consider the facts that led you to this point, hindi ka self-aware. It can also go the other way, and 
overblown yung ego. Hindi sila aware na things can still go wrong and they may have overestimated their preparation or themselves. Bagong laro, inaaral ko, two days, three days, malupit naman ako siya at caster, a game na. You're not self-aware. Something that I myself have noticed na I needed someone else to tell me. Um, I think one feedback that was given to me MPL Season 7 alone is I tend to put words in my partner's mouth and I was not aware of that. So, ito yung trait na hinahanap ko sa iba. Itong pinakahuli natin, number one, mas lalo. Being resilient. Ano yung resilient? Kunyari, hindi mo na ako yung isang gig. Ano na, magmumukmuk ka? Malulungkot ka? Hindi ka natanggap? No. Being resilient means, okay, I understand, I acknowledge na nangyari to. What can I do next? Ano yung next step ko? How can I evolve? How can I adapt? What's next? Maybe this esport is not for me. Maybe it's not this title. How can I stay in the industry? How can I stay relevant? How can people always remember me? As the one who evolved, as the one who changed. Right when it mattered, I'm not saying I'm the perfect example of resiliency. Pero nangyari na sa akin to, and this is when I lost out on MPL season six. Dalong ko talo don. Pero na isip ko, wala ako ng magkuha ako magmumukmuk lang ako. Sad boy hours. Paano ng esports career natin? Let's evolve. Let's see. Let's cast every damn game that's out there that will take us, and let's give it 150 percent. And I did that. I casted all sorts of games. Tatlo, apat, halos na esports per quarter ang ginagawa ko, hindi siya na shoutcast ko, tinitira ko, nabatak talaga ako doon. I'm not saying that's what directly led me into coming back into the MPL, into even M2. I'm pretty sure it helped. So if you guys uh, listening now, aspiring shoutcasters, find it in you to develop that, your resiliency. That's something that will definitely help you in the long run. Those are the five things I'm looking for in aspiring casters. Kayo, meron ba kayong mga traits na parang, uy, meron din ako nito. Importante din ba ito? Makakatulong din ba sa akin ito? Let me know in the comments below. That being said, wala na extra 